Good morning, campers. And by the way, Amber has explained to me that not everybody know. That's a reference from Groundhog's Day, in case you don't know. The Bill Murray movie. He gets woken up by the radio, so it's good morning, campers. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We're um, on Hardsog Road, very close to Disney property. Disney World's right over there. You can see the fireworks that they were going off at night. I promise you. But over here is where Disney wants to build its affordable housing. And they just passed the um, Orange County Supervisors, I believe, by like a, a vote of one. So it was like five to four, or what, whatever their count was. It was by one vote. So there's going to be three entrances on Hartsock Road, this road that we're on, and then one road on Avalon, which is kind of on the other side of this whole thing. But um, I think 5,000 units from like townhomes to apartments. As a resident of Horizon West, I welcome this. I think Disney should be applauded for this. There are some NIMBY people in the neighborhood that don't want it, but um, look, you know, you moved next to Disney World. You knew what you were coming to. Um, so I can't, I don't know why they're surprised. Uh, and there's other apartments around here. They've been fine. Um, there's more than other. They're in in the two and a half years we've lived I mean, look, here. here. Here's some apartments, like literally right here. So, yeah. in, so in the two and a half years we've lived here, there were literally only, I can think of three apartments within, I don't know, a couple, couple miles. Yeah. Um, so in those two and a half years, I can think of at least 15 now. Yeah. Um, so I do, I, I wholeheartedly support affordable housing for anybody. So, these are about to open. These um, are brand new. Yeah, these are the Ascend. Um, so, yes, we need that for the Disney cast yeah. members. And so does Universal is building some. Yeah. So yeah. I, props to both theme parks, both companies. Here's, here's my favorite. This is why I started filming, though. Look, I love the entrance to the Waterly subdivision. I don't know if this does it justice, but this is like a pool over here with the waterfall. <laughs> you can literally swim in this thing. And at night, they light it up. It's multicolored. Um, pretty cool. Anyways, we're headed to Maple Street Biscuit Company. <laughs> <laughs> we literally finish each other's sentences. So we're it's up in Hamlin. I'm going to put the camera down for a minute, and... I'll pop it back up on when we get there. Maybe we'll drive around Halen briefly. Uh, but we've never been here. It looks great. And uh, we're going to get it to go. But it looks like it's a place that we need to eat in at. So um, stay tuned, campers. <laughs> so here we are on New Independence Road. Let me roll the window down, actually. And on a nice day, you can't actually see the Contemporary Hotel, the Magic Kingdom Castle. From up here, we're entering what they call um, the village of Hamlet. It's sort of the the town center. Let me roll up the window because of the wind. It's sort of the town center of um, Horizon West. There's no hotels here, so you can't stay here if you're visiting. But um, there's a lot of restaurants. One of the best movie theaters in the neighborhood. Lambert and I were talking about it. It's probably equidistant to the parks from the town of Celebration, the town that quote Disney built, right? Um, this is um, definitely cheaper than. Celebration, but not by much. It's still a very expensive place to live. But yeah, Hamlin's got a nice Walmart. Definitely better than the one on um, 192, Highway 192. That that Walmart is, I, I avoid that like the plague. It's so busy. But there's a Publix over here. And there's a Miller's Ale House, or the Ale House as the Floridians call it. Uh, there's a Ford's Garage. There is a brewery. There's some apartment complexes, McDonald's. It's kind of the, the gist of it, right? Phosphorus, pizza press, yeah. gift chains to go, Starbucks. Like, it's just, it, it's a lot of food and retail. Yeah, crumble cookies is over here. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's the trouble we didn't need. Chick-fil-a. And Maple Street Biscuit Company, which we're going to be pulling into in a second, so stand by. So here's the menu, and I think these sandwiches here are definitely the, well, they tell you, fork and knife, right? These are going to be, you're not picking these bad boys up. They got um, gravy on them. But you can just get retro biscuits, like you'd get, you know, at like a McDonald's for breakfast or something like that. They also have some entrees here. You get a plate of eggs and, you know, a traditional breakfast. The French toast looks amazing. We're I can't believe we haven't been here, frankly. Um, it's been here for a while. And then you got a taco bundle. Prices aren't terrible. And then biscuits and gravy. 
And then on the other side, your coffee, your lattes. They got hot chocolate. They do have Coca-Cola products with free refills, I'm happy to say. Ooh, they got a chicken chips basket. You got between this and um, white cinnamon. I think Amber actually ordered one of these. So we're gonna be trying that. So I'm super excited. Um, we decided to sit outside. Look how beautiful it is and lovely Hamlin morning here. So the food's on its way and um, we'll show it when it comes. Well, we got a full spread here because um, well, we're showing it to you guys for the first time. Otherwise, I would, we would get half of this. So this is the cowboy, which is chicken fried steak, fried egg, and sausage gravy. That is just a traditional sausage egg and cheese biscuit. These are the cinnamon biscuits, obviously, with some icing. And Amber got the bacon egg and cheese biscuits. So these look phenomenal. I'm going to start with my cowboy, though. Bon appetit, everybody. So this is why they say you have to knife and fork the sandwich because, sorry about the shadow. Um, yeah, it definitely falls apart. But there's a cross section. This is spectacular. Amber, how's yours? It's great. Lovely? Yeah. Yeah, this is um, a hit so far. But yeah, look at it, it definitely falls apart. Wouldn't even try and pick this up. So here it is, Maple Street Biscuit Company in Hamlin. And it shares the parking lot with, um, yeah, there's a haircutting place, Verizon, Greek restaurant, and it's for wayfinding. Walmart is right over there. Rumor has it they're going to build a Sam's Club next to Walmart, so we're excited about that. How'd you feel about breakfast? Well, welcome to Taxi Cab Confessions with Adrian. And after a long night with a, uh, a few dirty 3 a.m. pickups, we like to go to the Maple Street Biscuit, Co Biscuit Company. <laughs> well, it was our first time there. Um, it was delicious. I loved it. I'll be going back. I thought the cinnamon biscuit was incredible. Um, Amber had a really good point, though. Biscuits are inherent. I love biscuits, but they're inherently dry. I mean, they just suck the moisture out of everything. So you should definitely have a nice, big, refillable drink there, which I did. I'm a Diet Coke addict, and so that was just constantly being refilled um big spread you can get a traditional breakfast if you want without a biscuit but it's definitely not their parlay right it's not like they're just not their big thing um but yeah all around really great food nice outdoor area it was busy in there uh we noticed there's a lot of run disney though because there's a run disney event today yeah it was the it's so this weekend is the princess marathon um so it's a sunday and Sunday is marathon day and there were so many. So yep. this is very much so I would say this was the locals, not the people that were traveling no, from, no, 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 no. from afar and coming to run the run Disney race. This is the people that live here in Orlando or, you know, greater Orlando area. <laughs> but it was nice there. The outdoor area was really nice that we, there's a nice um, yellow lab out there named buddy. It's, that I made friends with. It's and a real beautiful day. You couldn't ask for a better day. This is it is. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Out, I so. wish we would have brought Molly. Yeah, me too. Next time. <laughs> so I mean, look, if you're gonna start your day and it's a life away, I think Maple Company. Maple. What the heck is it called? <laughs> it's Maple Street Biscuit Company. It would be nice to have a Kiki's or a First Watch right here. I would love a First Watch. Uh, on 192, you obviously have. Well, there is a Kiki's down there now, and there is, um, you know, obviously IHOP and Denny's. But breakfast on property is can be a challenge, you know. Most people are trying to get to the park for rope drop, uh, and I'm a big breakfast person, so yeah, this is this is up there on my list. I really enjoyed it, but biscuits are like. I don't know, my third or fourth bread choice of breakfast. So yeah. I think Kiki's is my number one overall. Is it? Yeah. I think First Watch is my favorite breakfast. Okay. Um, oh, what, we're leaving out um, 
Hash House a Go Go. Oh, Hash House is so good. But Hash House is stupid filling. Yeah, Hash House is kind of like it's it's Hash House, like you gotta go there with a Shrek kind of appetite. You know? <laughs> I don't disagree with Hash that. Hash House for Go Go is for ogres. <laughs> so good, but mm. yes, uh, their portion sizes are ginormous. <laughs> but there's a full bar there. I love Hash House a Go Go. It's its own thing. It is great. So, um, I don't know what we're doing next, but uh, stay tuned for what the day... Late, late, I cannot speak today to save my life. <laughs> stay tuned for what comes next. <laughs> well, we're back home, and Gary is just shocked at the news I have delivered to him. His, just, his, his jaw's wide open. So what is this news I just shared with, with Gary? Well, that's shocking news is we've been here, what, three, almost three years in September. It'll be three years this coming September, right? So like two and a half right now. And mm -hmm. in all that time, with the exception of Animal Kingdom and Gator Golf, which don't count, we have not seen a gator in the wild. Ever. At all. Ever. Yeah, there's one that allegedly crossed the street right in front of our apartment complex. I think it was spotted by uh, some of the DCP kids. Yeah, we live on a, a swamp, like a nature preserve. Well, I mean, literally, in a second, we can show you the sign that's outside of our... Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> it's, Multiple signs. It's right It's right here. <laughs> so. we, we've gone to Celebration looking for cool. The alligator is Adam the Woo has named him. <laughs> yeah. Or her. Uh, but we've never... So, we're, today we're on a mission. Where are we going? I think we're going to go to the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive, I think is what it's called. We're going to go drive around like a popka and see what we can we, we see. We better see one. I've heard stories that there's a lot of them. So we came home, we collected, I think Molly will protect us. Yep, Molly, we're going to take Molly dog. on a little adventure with us. A little safari. Yep, in the car, of course. So we're like, full we're, we're full on some good breakfast. <laughs> now it's time to go hunt some gators. We're not literally hunting gators. We've no, never, heard gator, never. Unless it's attacking us. Yes, and I case, hope that will I'm never happen. I'm not sure happen. we're capable of hurting a gator. Yeah, but we, we really are gonna we we're we're hunting a gator in that we're finding a photograph, trying to find an alligator <laughs> in the wild. Yeah, so come along. <laughs> So that's literally one of the signs warning us of gators. Uh, similar signs at, at the Disney World Resort if you're coming here. You'll notice those all around the lakes. But again, and then here's our, our, our preserve. I forget the name of this. Des it is designated as a lake. But um, hang out here all the time. Never seen an alligator. Lots of bunnies. Bunnies live all in these hedges here. And I've seen the occasional possum and a snake or two, but never an alligator. So let's hit the road and go to this, quote, guaranteed location where we can see them. All right, we've arrived. We are at the uh, the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive, and it's a semi gravel concrete road. You can kind of see here. Anyways, there's an audio tour which I think we'll put on and uh, maybe share some of that with you guys. But so far, there's just this little bayou off to the right, and um, I haven't seen any gators yet. There's definitely some uh, Florida birds up here, so we're gonna go. I'm, I'm told that this is a guaranteed place to see a gator. And um, so let's let's keep going. Let's go check out these birds. Well, we're only a few seconds in, and there's already a rest stop to go to the bathroom. like so far. So apparently it's up until three. Here's some of the wildlife you can see. You can make a donation. You can scan here for a map of the property. And again, there is an audio tour. But this kind of tells you everything that you're in for. So we're way down here at the beginning. And excitement awaits. Well, that sign is promising for our alligator sighting. Let's see, guys. There's got to be 
We haven't, we haven't seen anything yet. We've seen a bunch of birds. We've got a molly right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got our eyes peeled. We're, we are gonna find an alligator on this endeavor. Let's push on. We have struck gold. Our first gator in the wild. Yeah, it's kind of moving. That's his tail. On the left hand side is his head. Super zoomed in here. So he's kind of across the way here. But that's a big gator. I'd say that's six feet across. Do you think? I'd say he's about a six footer from here. All right, this is already a success now. We're only like a mile into this. Not even, I don't think. In our first gator. So we've seen one. Let's go see if we can see some more. Here's a much better look at his tail. You can see his tail's just massive. Yeah, he's just out here someday in the heaven, great old time. I'm sorry about any wind noise, by the way. We didn't bring our muffler today. I feel like I'm in Florida now. This is wetlands. This is what they look like. But no gators. There's a crowd of people around the corner here. Kind of parked over here and there's a big crowd so I think they see something. So we're gonna go over there and check it out. So we found the mama gator right here garden a bunch of her babies. Somebody took a count, there's about 14. I don't see any though. But she is big. Here's one on the move, guys. Our most active catch yet. Look at him go. That's so cool. There's so many gators here. Yeah, this place is delivering. And yet another one. This one's uh, particularly close to like the driving path. Um, let's see, like here's, I think you can see the driving path. Yep, there it is. And there he is. Or she. Just chilling. Or them. Enjoying this wonderful Florida weather. And I'm actually not being facetious. It's gorgeous out today. What's he looking at? Oh, there's a big one right up here. See his head? Let's go. Drive a little closer. Is that a gate? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Oh, is that a gator? Stop. Let's see. Maybe not. That is a gator. But where is he in the... Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. There he is. See him, guys? Like... This is so cool. Here's the tire of our car. No zooming here. And that is the end of its tail. Right there. This guy is big. Again, I'm sorry about the wind noise, y'all. But he is just laying in wait. Big boy. Or girl. Is our fifth or sixth now? I'm losing track. Like, that's how many there are. Welcome to Jurassic Park, y'all. Um, 
There's one there. There's another one there in the top center. And there is one right there in the top center you can barely make out. Uh, so a ton in this lake and then this gigantic Dinosaurs are real. Like we don't. Why, we don't need to clone clone dinosaurs. They're right here at Lake Apopka. God, I would. I can't imagine being an explorer in Florida a few hundred years ago and just walking through wetlands infested by these dinosaurs. It must have been hell. But yeah, he is huge. Yeah, super cool building. I'd love to be here when this is like running, you know, and seeing this in action, but I don't know. It's almost got like Stephen King kind of vibes, you know, to be out here in this swamp with all these alligators that you stumble across this. Probably not the best place to spend the night. Get another one hanging out, taking a swim. He was mobile a minute ago, but we're not far from the, the pump house. Yeah, but it is just beautiful out today. The weather is perfect. There he is, just hanging out. And Molly is not happy. Every time I open the car door. Hello, Molly. <laughs> We're not letting you walk anywhere near these gators. You are just uh, not like today. a Chick-fil-A meal for them. <laughs> swimmer. He's just cruising right along, isn't he? Yeah. They either sunbathe or they swim. I mean, we were just saying, like, for as many as we've seen, just think of how many more there must be, because we can't see them all. Huh. That's, it's a pretty neat little drive, though. Road. Well, we are back from our alligator driver successful alligator hunt, and Molly is wiped out. I think she's over it. You know, the uh, blazer did her job today. Uh, it's still windy, but it's still beautiful, and I think we're going to settle in for a night of watching the Oscars. So, uh, if you made it this far, as always, thank you so much. Please subscribe. We'd love to have along you uh, have you along for future adventures. Share the video if you want to share it with your friends. You think they might find this interesting. Leave a comment. Have you seen alligators in Florida? If so, where? Where should we go next on our alligator hunts? Um, and uh, have fun storming the castle and stay magical. <laughs>